hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be talking about reasons why some women don't ovulate ovulation is a crucial part of the menstrual cycle in some women it's either absent or irregular the medical term for lack of ovulation is anal ovulation yeah if you are curious about your reproductive health you are trying to conceive then this video is for you i'm pharmacist vera and this youtube channel is focused on health and health related so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please click on the subscription button ovulation is a crucial part of the menstrual cycle and the menstrual cycle involves a complex interplay of various hormones and physiological activities once there's a disruption it can lead to absence of ovulation completely so in today's video we'll be delving into reasons why ovulation can be absent an individual while the signs of ovulation varies from one person to another here are five signs that can indicate you are ovulating or not number one is menstrual irregularities if your period is, is not monthly it comes this month it's not the next month it could be a sign that ovulation is either absent or irregular number two absence of changes in your cervical mucus when you are ovulating within that period of time you should notice vagina discharge it becomes thinner slippery and clearer too it resembles egg white if over time you don't notice any of this it could be a sign that you are not ovulating this doesn't mean that you are not ovulating but it could be a sign that you are not ovulating regularly or even at all number three no change in your basal body temperature and when a woman is ovulating within that period her basal body temperature rises and remains elevated till the next period so if you don't notice these things it could be an indication that you are not ovulating the fourth one is absence of ovulation symptoms like breast tenderness heightened libido fatigue the absence of these symptoms could also be a sign that you are not ovulating the fifth one is Hormonal imbalances for a woman that has an increased amount of androgens, that's the male hormones, it can affect your menstrual cycle, leading to lack of ovulation or disrupted ovulation. And also fluctuations in the amount of follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, progesterone, estrogen can lead to lack of ovulation. These are some indicators as to whether you ovulate or not. It is also important to note that these signs may not indicate absence of ovulation in a person because uh, physiological makeup varies. Yes, that's the thing. So you may need to see your healthcare professional. Now let's talk about why some women don't ovulate. The first on my list is hormonal factors. Because hormonal imbalances can be a cause of anal ovulation. Remember I said anal ovulation is the medical term for the condition known as lack of ovulation. Because the menstrual cycle is a complex or crucial interplay of various hormones. So when there is an imbalance, it can also affect ovulation. This hormone such as progesterone, estrogen, luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone. When there is an imbalance, it can actually disrupt the menstrual cycle and it can affect ovulation, leading to lack of ovulation. Conditions like polycystic ovarian syndrome, thyroid disorder, pituitary gland abnormalities are all conditions that can lead to lack of ovulation because they have to do with changes in the hormonal balance and this can affect ovulation the second factor is stress stress can cause changes in the body including the reproductive system when your body is stressed as a woman there will be a release of a hormone known as cortisol the cortisol is known as the stress hormone High levels of this hormone suppresses the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone. These two hormones are really crucial in the menstrual cycle. Once the levels of these hormones are low, the ovulation process will either be disrupted or will be completely absent depending on how low it is. Stress can also contribute to appetite changes, changes in your sleep pattern. It can also affect your mood, leading to poor timing and irregularity of ovulation. This is another factor that causes lack of ovulation stress 
The third is diet and lifestyle. Diet and lifestyle can have a significant impact on your reproductive health and hormone production generally. Inadequate nutrition, poor eating habits, deficiency of certain minerals and vitamins in the body and fats in the body can also affect ovarian function and hormone production. Since the menstrual cycle is a complex interplay of these hormones, you already know how crucial these hormones are. So ensure that you eat well, eat a lot of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, also eat at the right time, a good proportion of fat too, will go a long way. The fourth factor is weight changes. Gaining excess weight or losing excess weight can also disrupt ovulation, leading to lack of ovulation. Yeah, so if you gain excess weight, it can to lack of ovulation. Like if you lose too much of weight, it can also affect ovulation. The fifth factor is exercise. Strenuous and excess exercise can lead to lack of ovulation because it can affect your hormonal balance, affect the menstrual cycle, leading to lack of ovulation. And it can even lead to absence of menstruation completely. That's amenorrhea. So extreme and strenuous exercise has effects on hormonal production too which can in the long run affect your menstrual cycle and even lead to absence of menstruation and even ovulation completely. The next factor is chronic illness. Chronic illness like autoimmune disorders, diabetes can also play a role in the lack of ovulation. A condition like diabetes can lead to insulin resistance and this can further result to lack of ovulation. The next and the last factor I'll be talking about today is aging age also affects your reproductive health and your fertility because fertility declines as you progress in age as a woman there will be a diminished ovarian reserve thus the quality and the number of eggs released will diminish will reduce as you progress in age all of these factors discussed today can contribute to lack of ovulation in women so if you are experiencing irregular periods or you are trying to conceive or you just want to understand your reproductive health you have doubts as to whether you really ovulate or not please watch this video again and again and share this video with your loved ones if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comment section i'll be here to answer your questions thank you so much and give this video a thumbs up if you found this video helpful i remain pharmacist vera thanks for watching